Welcome back once again, everyone. Happy Tuesday. So again, today will be a pretty nice day. It's still a little bit cool right now, but we'll be warming up as the day goes on. And it'll be a little warmer today than it was for yesterday, and we'll have a light breeze. So now here's a look at your current temps around the southeast. 60 in Memphis, 55 in Nashville, 54 in Knoxville, 60 in Atlanta, and 69 in Tallahassee. Right here in the Delta is 62 here in Greenville and Greenwood, 58 in Winona, 54 in Batesville, and 60 in Monticello. And winds are still calm around the area. They're blowing at 3 miles per hour in Vicksburg and also in El Dorado, Arkansas. Now we'll be near 88 today for the high. Winds will be from the northeast this morning around 5 to 10 miles per hour. But then by the late morning hours into the early afternoon, we'll start to have some southeasterly wind flow. So that's going to be warmer air and warm moist air pushing back into the region once again. So again, it's going to feel a little bit warmer today than yesterday, but it's overall going to be pleasant weather day and overnight low will be near 68 mostly clear skies light breeze winds will be from the southeast around 10 to 15 miles per hour for your Wednesday will be in the low 90s once again for the high but we're still expecting mostly sunny mostly dry conditions it'll be a little bit breezier tomorrow than it will be for today winds will be from the south southwest around 5 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 20 miles per hour so the Mississippi River level is at 42.9 feet it's going to rise just a tad bit to 43 feet for tomorrow on Thursday then Friday and Saturday will drop back off just a little bit and then by Sunday it should be at 42 feet. The Yazoo River level at Yazoo City is at 22.3 feet. It should be at that same level for tomorrow and then it's going to stay around the 22 and a half foot mark for the next few days leading into Sunday. So looking at the future tracker, we have a mostly clear sky starting us off this morning. Then we'll have a little more cloud cover pushing in by this evening. Then it'll move out again overnight. Then for Wednesday throughout the day, we'll have a little more cloud cover moving in. But overall, we should be mostly dry for tomorrow. And then by Thursday morning, we could have an increased amount of cloud cover moving in. But again, we should just have mostly sunny conditions for the next couple of days. Should remain mostly dry until at least late Friday night. That's when we could start to see showers and thunderstorms once again. So the rain chance for late Friday night is pretty low, but then we have a 50% chance on Saturday, which could increase 30% chance on Sunday. Cold front should be moving in Saturday night to Sunday. And look at that. We'll be in the upper 70s on Sunday and low 80s on Monday. So that's going to be a much needed break from the heat. But for now, it's still too early to determine if we'll have severe weather over the weekend. But as we get to the end of the week, we'll be able to let you know. Thanks for tuning in.